What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez Jimenez. Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> Eso! Woo! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. Just cut your hand open. You should. Sure Doing push ups was such a good idea. What Do can I, I say?
You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I... I like these young Darius. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran juristas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. <sighs> There's these farmers in Sombreado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan. And I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy, and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I, I fucking love, love hearing convoys. You're new around here. Over here. Hola, Bonnie. We got your back, Danny. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo. Is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Beach, right? We got a fucking chance. Hey. Is that dog friendly? Good dog. Now, what do we... Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. Huh? Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. They say when you're in her chair, Information or your life, or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. We heard 
Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing. We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Better watch myself here. That's my dog. What's your business? Delivery from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. Ron, I'm at some huge hotel on a mountain. It looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. What a beautiful set of teeth you have, Rosano. Now tell me, Hugo, Medics on duty. La Moral's headquarters? Fuck you, hija de puta! We already know the guerrillas are in Concepcion, but where? Not today, I said it. Yelena, the dentist is dead. La Moral is safe. Now. That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. 
The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. One is on you. Oye. Let's ride. You call for this? Oh, God. 
Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. Smart dog. Que bola? It's knuckleball time, comadre. We're hitting that convoy at the pass? Repinga! I'll bring the road spikes! Pinga. Perfecto! We get I to love use that them. dog. We're set for an ambush at the pass. Knuckleballs, a go. What did you find for me? Another long day. Que hola! La moral needs you down at the pass. Knuckleball. Alright, Liza, go! Fuck ya! Yeah. I'll get my mortar! Mortar time, compai! Grabbing a ride. Xie xie guang ma. Jian ji. Xiao ni. Hai se. Xiao ni. Zui hou, bie wang. Ah. 